Hi all. Uh, I'd like to do some Excel videos. Microsoft Excel. Uh, I've been teaching this stuff in college part-time for probably 15 years or so. What I've come to do is I use Word files. I have all my examples and my lectures in Word files. and uh, We still use the actual program too in class, but uh, I have everything in Word files so I don't miss anything that I want to bring up and uh, there's always two questions that I always get on Excel and one is charts how do I make a chart and I've got that question from people who've been using Excel for 20 years you know they just never learned how to create a chart and the other question is how do I create a total at the bottom of a column so before we get into the basics I just want to cover a few things Okay, so one of the main questions I always get is how to create a total column. Uh, here we'll start Excel. And then we'll just put some random numbers here. And then down here we want to add them up. Okay, so what we do is type in an equal sign because we want to add these, right? We go equal A1 plus A2. And you can see as we type these, the colors show what cell this points to. Like this is blue so it points to this cell this is green so it points to this cell okay so that's called a formula we created a formula you know a1 plus a2 is equal to press the enter key or click off of it Okay, so if we want to see our formula again, if you just double click inside that cell, it shows us the formula here. Then we also see it in the formula bar here. To get rid of that, just click off of it. Uh, there's other ways that you can do that. We'll just put in some random numbers here. See here in this first one, we actually wrote our own formula. We could use the built-in ones that are already inside Excel. Uh, we have our cell selected here and we come over to this guy here, this auto sum. That backward E means uh, auto sum. We can just click on that and it puts auto sum into the cell. Here. And you can see it's saying equal and then we're using the sum function. Sum just means adding things up. And now got these dancing ants around the cells we're going to add up and it's saying start at cell E1 which is this first cell here E1 E1 and then colon don't let the colon mess you up it's just there's no magic there it's just a separator go down to E3 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 and add up those numbers and put the sum inside that cell. This stuff here is trying to give you help on how to use it. We'll go over stuff like that better later on. So you can move these dancing ants around. It's just kind of guessing at what you want to add up. The way it guesses is it says, well, there's nothing off this side and there's nothing off to the, the other side. So I guess you want to add up the numbers going up. You can 
click and hold on those dancing ants and drag them around. It's kind of tricky, but you can do it. So, for our purposes, it guessed properly. So, we'll just hit the enter key and it creates our formula. So, it, it added up these numbers 50, 100, 350 and put the total in here and if we click on that cell you can see it shows us our formula here now here this is the difference between a function and a formula see here we're using a built-in function the sum function here we wrote our own formula a formula meaning like one line a function would be like a block of code we'll get into that more later on the difference between a formula and a function but there's all types of built-in functions see if we click the drop down here we can we have other built-in functions here you can say okay now give us the average the average is 150 or we can say give us the count there's three items give us the maximum the maximum is 450 we can go to the formula bar here and these are all the built-in functions so if you're using Excel, you don't have to learn all of these functions. That would be impossible. But what they try to do is they put everything inside Excel that people may need. You know, If you're in the financial area, then you would need to learn these functions. If you're in math, then you would need to learn these functions. You, know, you don't have to learn every function inside Excel. There's whole books written on these things, big, big thick books, you know. We'll go over a few of them later on, but I just wanted to show you where the items were. Okay, see ya. Bye.